So let's see this in practice. Let's walk through a change to a couple of styles to see how we actually go about this on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to come over here and use our inspector picker to go ahead and pick an info box for us. In this case, like we saw a minute ago, we can see our style here. And I want to make some changes. I want to change the background color to be a little lighter. So as I go ahead and type something in, I can see we're getting a lighter color. That looks pretty good to me. And for our border, let's go ahead and make it a little thicker. And let's decrease that padding. And that is going to be the, the distance between the border and our content. And finally, let's go ahead and make the width a little smaller. About 285 looks good. And now we have some basic changes. We've changed some of the built-in properties of our rule. But let's go ahead and add a couple of more. So I'm going to go ahead and add border radius. Let's say about 5 pixels. And I can now, even before I exit the rule, I can go ahead and use the up and down arrows to go ahead and tweak this until it looks just like the way I want. And let's say about 10 looks good. I also want to be able to modify the hover color, which doesn't look quite like what I want. So I'm going to go up to the style and click on hover. And we'll now see that we have the hover rule as a separate rule. Let's come in here and change that color make it a little lighter. So it's not a dramatic difference, it's just a kind of a subtle difference and we're maintaining everything as being very much the color we're looking for. So we've made the changes we want to make, how do we actually now get these changes back into the source file? The style panel makes this fairly easy. If we right click on the rule itself, we can tell it to either copy the entire rule or just the style declaration, which are the properties. I'm going to go ahead and say copy the style. And then over in our code, we can just come down here and replace it with what we got from the browser. I'll do the same thing with the hover, because I did make a change there. Instead of copying just the contents of the rule, let's copy the entire rule declaration. So we can find our hover and just replace it wholesale. Now if we refresh the page, we're going to get all of the changes we made as we wanted.